week six through eight would appear to be the easiest part of raising these puppies, right? You've made it past the fragile stage, and now it's time to deliver their first shots and get them outside after the incubation period. Coast is clear, right? Well, for most of us, maybe not. So you've done everything right. You've gotten the puppies away from their mom, weaned off of the milk. They're eating regular kibble. You're giving them regular dewormers every two weeks. And you've delivered their first set of shots. You got one more week and you can finally let these dogs explore outside, right? Not so fast. Well, what do you think these dogs are going to do? They're in a kennel all day. They're getting bigger, more powerful, more energetic, and they want to explore the world. Well, let me give you a sneak peek here. He throws him up on the other side. There's... Oh! Good dog. Good dog. That's it. He's dead. Well, somebody stop the damn man. Enough's enough. What's up guys, it's Aaron with Laurent Frenchies and I really apologize, it's been a while since I made a video for you but I've been a little bit under the weather and it might be because of all the cleanup I've been doing. Two boxes of puppy pads, four boxes of wipes later, I got a little congestion here, a little bit of a cold, so hopefully you don't hear it too much in my voice but I did want to go over what's been going on with my puppies. They are now nine weeks old. They got outside for a little photo slash video shoot the other day, and they're doing pretty good. Next step for me is getting all the puppies sold, as the only female that I had in the litter has already been sold. Out of the four remaining males, I have what I believe to be two stud quality males of that pack, and I'm just looking to get those last four dogs sold to make room for Storm's litter that'll be coming in November. So let's go over the process of what I've learned and what I've went through over the past three weeks dealing with these dogs. So first things first, we were able to deliver the shots to them uh, in week six, their first set of shots for them to get them into the incubation period to allow them to go outside. Because trust me, you don't want to leave these dogs outside by themselves. They always need to be supervised because they will get into any and everything, which could cause harm to your dogs and your property. But you definitely want to get the dogs outside. The dogs become a little bit stir crazy as they're in the kennel and they're ready to explore and they're getting larger. And the way that they play, as you can see, is very much rough housing all day. So if you think that you've made it to the finish line and you're about to get some rest at night, think again. Every two to three hours, these dogs are going to eat. They're going to release themselves and they're going to play. So it's going to be a lot of telling your dogs no and getting them to be quiet because you will not get any kind of rest. You don't want to stop your every two week dose of dewormer for your dogs. But what you do want to do once you get to week eight, is you wanna add the tapeworm to them. This is a little bit different as it comes in a pill format. So what you're gonna to have to do, very important you take the right steps, is to crush those pills up, add it to the kibble. And for me, I don't just give them dry kibble every day. Uh, most of the time, I'm gonna mix some dyeing in there and I'm gonna give them raw meat. I want my puppies juicy and fat. Uh, so we're gonna mix that in real nice with the food and feed them on an individual basis to make sure they eat it all and they get everything in that. So by week eight, your dog should be dewormed for all different kinds of worms, pin worms round worms, tapeworms, etc. Another thing that I wanted to point out that I didn't get the chance to experience before with any litter of French Bulldogs as I spoke to you guys before about the swimmer syndrome that one of my dogs got over earlier on in the process, it took about four or five days to get rid of, I now have a puppy that I believe to be stud quality, this male here, that he's the only one out of the litter where his ears don't stick up. From everything that I know and understand, you don't want to rush this process. It could take up to eight months for their ears to stick up, although I don't believe it'll be that long for him. There's been a couple of times where I woke up and looked at him and he had one or two of both of his ears sticking up. They just don't stay up. So stay away from giving them calcium as this could affect their diet and their health. Um, there are things that you can do, but right now I'm just going to let time take care of it. And if I get to about 12 weeks and I still have this dog around, then I may take some other measures to make sure that they're sticking up like French Bull dog's ears should. As I did mention to you guys, and you may be able to notice in my voice, I am still under the weather as I make this video as of today when the dogs are nine weeks. And it's been that way for about a week. And it may be attributed to the fact that the cleanup is pretty much constant. It's all day. You're going to have to have supplies and you want to go for the disposable supplies, things that you can throw away, get out of the house. 
You want to stay away from things that you're reusing that have bacteria and germs all over them that you're spreading over areas that your puppies that are still pretty delicate are going to be around. So make sure you use disposable supplies, disposable pads, disposable wipes. It's going to make your cleanup much easier and it's going to keep your area a little more sanitary as well. Right around six weeks, it's done with the wiping down of the dogs and they should be getting full-fledged baths by then. I try to give these puppies a bath at least once a week. Most of the time it's twice a week for two reasons. One, their areas are getting cleaned up five or six times a day at the very least, but the puppies are still stepping in stuff and it's going down to the bottom where the tray is, making the cleanup easier, but it's still on their paws and then they're jumping on each other and then they're eating food and jumping in their food. You don't want that combination to go on for too long. So you you want to make sure that you are giving your dogs baths at least twice a week. And for me, I also, when I rehome these dogs, I want them used to getting baths so they behave properly with the new owners as they get them on a cleaning schedule as well. Your puppy should not be going from eight weeks with you to a new home without ever being introduced to an actual bath with water and dog soap and shampoo and getting towel dried or I use an actual dryer system to dry my dogs. Um, the towel dryers only initially and then I dry them with a dryer because those noises, the feeling of that should not be shock value to your dog when they're around a new environment. The earlier you start this process, the better to make sure your dogs are being socialized around different environments and different things. So when they get to their new household, they're acting as normal as possible for a dog that's in a completely new environment. This is all a part of the process that I use to make sure my dogs are socialized and acting civilized as they can when they get to their new owners. Uh, obviously, the way that they play won't be the same when they get to their new home because a lot of owners are not going and bringing and inviting a dog into a home with five or six puppies that are the same age as them. Week eight, when the puppies are outside, I start introducing them to a leash and walking them on a leash. As you guys can see a long time ago, a video I made a long time ago, Storm was a puppy that I produced in house and she was so spoiled the entire time. I didn't think of these things before. So I did a lot of holding her and carrying her everywhere. Well, she's a diva now. It's pretty embarrassing when you try to teach your dog how to walk on a leash at eight months when they should have done it at eight weeks. So I introduced the leash to them at eight weeks and get them used Used to walking on it so they don't embarrass their owners in public one and two every dog should learn leash training it's the basic component of having a dog one of the basic components is being able to leash train your dog so i make sure i incorporate that as well because again i want these dogs as socialized as possible it's not just how the dog looks that's very important yes but you got to get your dog healthy you got to make sure that they're socialized and a trainable dog when you get them into a new household so fast forward almost two years later, Storm still has trouble walking on a leash and I get thoroughly embarrassed in public because of how I raised her. So that's something that's very important for you guys is to make sure that you're leash training your dogs at about eight weeks, getting them used to a leash, a collar and a harness. So that can be incorporated into their regular routines with their new owners. And that's not something that the owner should have to worry about as much as making sure that they get their dogs on the right diet and with proper shelter. So we talked about socializing your dog giving your dog shots, giving them dewormer, getting them out of the incubation period outside and beginning a little bit of training as you're walking your dog on a leash. So once you get to the point where your dog is rehomed to a new owner, you want to be organized. We've talked about these things before. You can put together a puppy packet, making sure that you keep those shot records and date everything so they know what's going on there. The AKC paperwork should already be back and you should have that in that folder as well. And the DNA profile. We talked about how to save money on a DNA profile, which you can find in this video in the top right here. But if you combine the parent's DNA with what you've paid for, they should have a clear indication of what DNA is held by those puppies as you sell them. You want to gain credibility with your clientele to make sure that they understand that you are a trustworthy breeder and that they're getting the best quality dog for their new household. Remember, these puppies are extremely delicate, so you also want to make sure that whatever food that you're feeding those puppies, you have enough to consistently feed them the same food in their new home for at least five to six days as they either continue that diet or they wean them onto whatever food they find suitable for the dog in their new homes. Very, very important that we do this because the dogs will get extreme diarrhea without it and they can also get sick. So that about wraps it up for week six to eight, everyone. I want to thank you all for watching. I am working on some videos that you guys requested about how to market and sell your puppies as well as how to reinvest 
once you sell your litter? What kind of things should you purchase for your business to make sure you're cutting expenses going forward, giving your dogs the best quality and putting you in the best position to continue to grow your business? Please be on the lookout for those videos and please don't forget to subscribe to my page and like this video as I bring you more consistent and concise information about French Bulldogs in 2024 and going forward. Thanks for watching.